Chilly in here. Oh. <laughs> I go. Uh, overall, I actually I, I thought we played uh, pretty well in this game. Um, I thought there were moments that we were really outplaying them. Um, you know, I thought they had uh, a couple of offensive opportunities and were able to put them home. And um, and you know, we weren't able to on ours. I mean, you got to credit their goalie. She's she played great. Um, and I thought, uh, but I thought overall our, our team played well. We just weren't able to finish in moments where we should have. Of. Coach, you mentioned the play of Franco and how good she was in this game. Also, piggyback backing off the last game she played against you guys in the Hockey East Championship. What did you see from that defense and Franco specifically that made it so difficult tonight? Yeah, I think she's just a dynamic goalie, honestly. Uh, you know, she moves a lot there. Um, you know, I didn't think we were able to be super strong on our second attempts. Um, and I think that's, you know, bearing down on pucks in front when you get a rebound opportunity. Um, or just not being ready for it when it comes at you. Um, but, over, you know, I mean, she's she's a, you know, national team goalie or U22 goalie. She's she's very good. Um, so you got to find a way to find a way to get at her and and uh, and find a way to put them in. They really, it seemed like they were really focusing on Bilka a lot. Anytime Bilka saw the ice, it was two players collapsing on her immediately. Um, do you feel like that's part of the game plan now, seeing that more teams see you more, um, that they're going to attack you better player? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, I think that's the way they play their D zone, where they kind of swarm you and uh, when you have puck. And, and you know, Bilka's a young, uh, is, as good as she is, she's a young player and hasn't probably played against that too much. So um, just learning when to move puck and, and when to uh, use your speed. Um, is a, is something that she's going to continue to learn to do, um, and you know we always say it with our elite players that you know other teams are going to key on you, and you have to figure out a way to um, to to counterattack that. And, and uh, you know I think she's going to keep learning and, and keep getting better. I mean she's a she's a great player, and and uh, she's going to get her oppor opportunities. You mentioned how close this game was and how it felt like it was in reach most of the contest. What do you tell your team after a game like this, especially? With yeah, you know, we just talked about the, the fact that I, you know, we had a lot of really good opportunities, you know, just kind of what I said at the beginning where, um, you know, there were moments where we had them hemmed in their zone, probably the most they've been in hemmed in their zone this year. And uh, it's just finding a way, you know, to, to put those pucks home when we get that opportunity. And, um, you know, I, but overall, I thought our team played well. We played hard. We didn't quit, um, you know, and, and it just seemed like the puck but it just wasn't bouncing our way tonight. Um, but uh, but we got to turn it around pretty quickly here and, and play UConn. Obviously, UConn played us well last week, um, and and uh, you know we need to we need to come back strong in those games. Um, four Boston teams, four beat Boston. Yeah, teams. all tonight. Uh, they're all playing tonight. Three of them are ranked. The other ones, you know, receiving votes. Can you talk about just the, the state of, of women's hockey? Yeah, I think it's great. Uh, you know, we we generally talk about it around bean pot days, but the but I, you know I think uh, I think it it was really funny. It kind of hit the coaches funny that uh, that we're all playing on the same night uh, here on a Tuesday in in uh, November. Um, but yeah, the the you know those four teams are all strong. I mean, obviously we played BU last week and. Uh, or uh, you know, and and they're a very good team, um, and and so is Northeastern, and Harvard is too. So it's a, um, you know, hockey is strong around this area, um, and it and it's fun. It makes it fun. It makes it fun for for all all four teams to to you know. Anytime you play any of these teams, you never know who's going to come out on top, and and it's going to be that team that played better that night, and and uh, found a way to win, and and you know, I think that's what makes it exciting about all four teams. A uh, game like tonight, is it? Uh as disappointing as the result is, um, is it good to what, – what do you learn from a game? Like this? Yeah, you know, I, I think for us – it's learning to have a little more composure. You know, our young, uh, when, we're, when you're a younger team, especially looking at our – well, both offense and defense, it's just having a little more composure um, with puck at times. Um, and I think, you know, these are the games that you want to play in all the time, right, and you get challenged so much. Um, offensively and defensively and I think 
Um, it's for our, especially our younger players, just to learn, you know, how important those scoring opportunities are when you get a chance to score, and how important it is to put one away um, when you do get that opportunity. Because, um, you know, you, you, I would, I argue, we outchance them tonight with scoring opportunities, and and you know, if we put a couple of those in, that game is different. If we put one in. That game is different in that first period. Um, I think they had one, you know. Well, I guess they had a few more shots, maybe on a power play, in their in their uh, first period. But you take away the power play shots on net, they had three shots on net in the first period. That's that's huge. Um, so we, you know, we just need to have more composure. Thanks.